بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونؤمن به ونتوقف عليه ونؤمن بالله من شرور أنفسنا من سيئات أعمالنا ومن يهد الله فلا مضر الله ومن يضلله فلا هادي له ونشهد أن لا إله إلا الله ونشهد أن محمدًا محمد عبده ورسوله ثم أما بعد قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم إن أشتاق هذه كتاب الله وخير هذه هدى محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر أمور مبتدئة وكل مبتدئة تندر وكل بدء تندر وكل دلالة تندر نعم Our praise is for Allah We praise Him and we seek His aid We seek His forgiveness We believe in Him and we trust in Him And we seek refuge in Allah from the evil of ourselves and from the evil consequences of our actions Whomsoever Allah for us and his God begats, no one can lead him astray. And whomsoever Allah allows to go astray, you will find no guidance for him. And moreover, we bear witness that there is none worthy of worship except Allah. He is alone and has no partner. And we bear witness that Muhammad, peace, peace, peace and blessing be upon him, is his servant and messenger. As what follows, blessed reminders from the Prophet to us, reminding us that, Truly the best speech is the book of Allah, the Quran. A reminder that the Creator has seen fit to give to mankind a book, a book of instructions, telling him, telling us what he wants us to do as well as what he wants us to abstain from. Truly the best speech is the book of Allah. A reminder that Allah for us and God has given to mankind a book of descriptions where the Creator describes the creation for the creation. In other words, when Allah says something is good, it is good. When Allah says something is bad or evil, it is bad or evil. When Allah says a man is a man, a man is a man. When Allah says a woman is a woman, a woman is a woman. Truly the best speech is the book of Allah. And the best guidance, the best role model, the best pattern of conduct, the one that Allah himself specifically sent to illustrate the Quranic verses, the one that Allah himself specifically sent to give meaning and amplification to the Quranic verses. The one that we as Muslims strive with our persons and our wealth to imitate is the example of the Prophet Muhammad peace and blessing be upon him. And the worst thing are those newly invented things concerning deen, concerning Islam, concerning this perfect and complete way of life that Allah has given to us. For all newly invented things are an accursed innovation. All innovation leads one astray. And all astray from the Book of Allah, all astray from the blessed example of Muhammad, all are straight from that combination that we know as Sarat the Muslim, that straight path, that Islam. Everything is straight from Islam leads directly to the hellfire, and we seek refuge in Allah, glory and God from that. Alhamdulillah, brothers and sisters, Allah SWT has. Allah SWT has, has, has allowed us to, uh, to uh, send forth Ibadah, worship to him in the form of the recent Eid, inshallah, and may Allah accept our actions, and may Allah grow us and God to give us all those all the benefits that come from the blessing, from the blessings of following the instructions of our Prophet, as far as the Hajj and things associated with the Hajj, and the finalization of Hajj, and accepted, and accepted, and accepted Hajj, and those who participated in the Hajj, as well as those who sent do up from afar, may Allah go to God to give us ma maximum benefits from those actions. And in reference to the Hajj, in reference to the uh, <coughs> events of Hajj, on the plane of Arafat, and I'm telling you things that you already know, so it's just a, just a, uh, uh, a reminder to you all. On the plane of Arafat, as you all know, our scholars have told us that this is the place where Allah go to God took our father Adam and stroked his back. And from his back came all of us. Every human being that was born, that is ever going to be born, came forth in the form of the wolf, the soul. 
Our souls, our, the birthplace of our souls is on the plane of Adam. And on that same plane, on that same day, at that same time, of our blood of God that made us bear witness. Am I not your Lord, Allah says? And we said, yes, of course. Allah says he, did, he made us do that, take that uh, pledge that we won't make it, try to have an excuse on the day of judgment, say, oh Allah, I worship someone else because uh, other than you because I didn't know. Oh Allah, I worship others instead of you because my family did it or my society did it. Allah's blood of God that essentially takes away every excuse from us because on the plane of Adifah, we all, human beings, all we human beings, will witness to the oneness of Allah. At the same time, as Allah for us and God that allows us to go forth through the land and through another, another point in history, another point in time, there was a blessed individual named Muhammad, peace be upon him, who goes into a cave, the cave of, cave of, cave of isolation that he accustomed, accustomed, himself, accustomed himself to and going in there to meditate, to contemplate, to reflect on himself, the human conditions, and what is this whole thing about? As you have done, as you do all the time, do, do you not? You still are trying to figure out what? Why am I here? What is this about? I know Allah has told me, but really, why am I here? And the reality is, why am I here? And what's going to happen when I die? And what's going to happen to my family when I die? And all these things. And so the Prophet, peace be upon him, uh, 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 isolated himself for contemplation. And a miracle happened. Oh, not a miracle. Another miracle. Because as you as Muslims, you know, as we as Muslims, we know that we are surrounded by Muslims, by miracles, all of the time. Are we not? Everything that we see is a miracle. The reality that we are existing in the form and the shape and the place and time where we are, it's a miracle by Allah Gross and Ikhati. Allah Gross and Ikhati said, Kun Faya Kun, and here we are. Kun Faya Kun, and here everything else is. Kun Faya Kun, that little ant that you saw walking across the, uh, across the sidewalk, that he is. Your enemies, your friends, your monies, your families, your destiny. Kun Faya Kun, and here it is. Thinking about it, what is this all about? And you have to do that. As a human being, you have to do that. The prophet, peace be upon him, this miracle that he had, that he encountered came in the form of Jibreel, Jibreel al salam, telling him the first words, the first command out of his mouth, the first words to the creature from the creator, Ikra. Read, rehearse, recite, repeat. Read. That command came from the mouth of Jibreel to the ears of the Prophet Muhammad. He responded as the, the truthful individual that he, uh, that he was and is. He says, I'm not a reader. I'm not a reciter. I don't know how to do that. And the angel overcame him with the, uh, with, uh, again, repeated the instructions, read. And finally he said, Ikhara Mishra Rabbi Kala Bi Kala, Kala Kala and Salam and Al, to the end of the verse, to the, to the, to the, to the, to the end of the first five verses. The, the, the angel, told the prophet that Allah sent him a message and the message said, we in the name of your Lord who created created man from a, a thing that clings, we and your Lord is most bound, bountiful. It is he who has taught man by the use, taught man by the pen, by the intellect, by the, by the, uh, uh, by the, by the thumb, taught man by the use of the, the pen, the writing, tra the transmission by writing, as well as the intellect. Taught man that which he did not know. The first commands from the Lord's Word of God to the blessed prophet, peace be upon him, was to equal, read, recite, rehearse, repeat. Do you still hear that? That, 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 that command floating in the ethers? Do you hear that command in your own self, in your inner self? Unless to be rabbicum, unless to be rabbicum was a command, was a, 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 a piece of information implanted in our self, in our essence, in our souls. Am I not your Lord? Jibreel al I'm telling the prophet, Ikara. Do you hear that? Do you, when you quiet in yourself, do you hear that whispering in your soul? Be. Recite it. It is Allah for us and the who has taught man by the use of the pen, by devices like this. So special are these devices in many instances we have good teachers, your teachers don't allow you to abuse these, these instruments like this. Don't throw them around, don't them around, don't just, these are very important things. The paper also, the books, don't throw them, don't just throw these things around. 
The Lord's Lord said, God uses this to teach mankind how to produce this and this and all these other things that we see in the creation. How to replicate Allah's, Allah's ability to create. We replicate it by forming, by fashioning things. By taking existing things and putting them together to make other things. Do you hear within your own soul? Or that's too bright to come. Am I not your Lord? Allah said, we said, yes. Why do you think that this land is so easy for you? And you're trekked into, the, uh, into uh, uh, answering a question of your, your own contemplation. Who is my Lord? Who is God? What, is God? what does God look like? What does God want me to do? Allah, Lord, said, God told our souls, I am the one. I am the source. I am the creator. Still here. Ikra, in the cave, those, those words that came out from the angel to the man's ear came out just like words come from the transmitted from, from, uh, from, from myself to yourself. The, 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 vocal, the sounds from my mouth come out and they ride on the, 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 the atmosphere and reach the point of the, uh, of the one receiving, receiving the, the transmission. Ikra, read, recite. Rehearse, repeat. What are we doing Saturday, 2 o'clock Saturday? A group of us get together and go out and uh, we, in Ikra. We're going to go and repeat, recite, rehearse the things that we learned from Allah Lord, 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 to people that have not heard. It is Allah who taught man that which man that which he knew not. The prophet, peace be upon him, was looking for that answer. Who is my Lord? And Allah Lord, 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 answered him with a miracle. A miracle tomorrow, we're planning another miracle tomorrow. Th those of us getting together with the book of Allah and passing it out to people. Why? Because Ikara, did you hear it? Do you hear it? Ikara. Re repeat. What I'm saying to you, repeat to others. The prophet amplified, amplified this by saying, that re 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 rehearse what you know of me, even if it's only one thing. But most of you, you know for yourself, even that one thing could be the thing that sends you to paradise. That one thing, with a sincere effort from your noble self, your chosen self, your soul that Allah chose out of all the souls on the plane of Arafat, those of us who, who follow up our the, the belief, our uh, acknowledging Allah as our Lord, those who follow that up with a practice that, rep that, that, that reflects that, that we live a life free of strength, a life free of uh, binding up, bogging ourselves down in sins and not trying to get out of it. The blessed souls, you, the best souls that Allah has created on the face of the earth, you. When's the last time you did a miracle? Produced a miracle? Yeah, you're doing it right now, brothers and sisters. When you look, Allah allows you to see our existence is an ongoing miracle. Producing other miracles. And Allah Lord said in God is let us know the power for but the power to produce to produce those miracles. They come from Allah Lord said in God. And we say a miracle is something that happens that shouldn't happen in under normal circumstances. Something that breaks the norms. We do miracles so often that we they have become the norm. We live in a miraculous existence. So much so that the miracle is the norm. But you have to always reflect on, respect, and understand and appreciate that these are miracles that we do, that we encounter, that we uh, uh, Allah allows us to, to bring forth into existence by Allah's permission. Allah Prophet says, Allah is the Allah is the protecting plan of those who believe. He leads them from the many different paths of darkness into the single path of light. Allah is the protecting friend of those who believe. He leads them from the many different paths of darkness into the single path of light, the light, and you. Allah chose us the miracle of, oh Allah, I don't know what I'm doing, Lord. Help me, Lord, before I hurt myself or before I hurt someone else. These people here now, they're going crazy in their, in their, in their, in their, uh, 
try to understand themselves. This anger inside me, how do I release this? Do I pick up a gun and go to an elementary school and, and kill whoever's available there? Or go to the mall and kill whoever's available there? Or run my car into people? Or kill anyone who's available there? Or kill whoever, just kill someone? Is that how I release my anger? Ikra, read, recite, rehearse, repeat. The prophet peace be upon him said, the person who does that, he is automatically placing himself in the hellfire and he does that same act over and over and over. Why? Because you're operating, that person operating of his or her emotions and not logically working out the problem. That's why Allah Gross and Daughter has given you instructions, has given you a book, has given you a living example of that book in the form of the prophet's life. How do you resolve anger issues? The prophet said, if you get angry, you, you know, I don't even have to tell you that idea. You've heard it so many times, you get angry, sit down. And if that, if that don't help, lay down. You should relax yourself. You say, just keep on sitting there arguing with the person. This thing that is a problem for you, so problematic that you want to hurt it. And see, that's one of the natures of one of the characteristics of men. The difference between ourselves and females. In our conversation with one another, you know, there's always that underlying possibility of violence. That's just how we are. We built like that. I ain't bragging about it, I ain't boasting about it, but that's just what it is. But that's the thing, one of the things that we have to learn to control about ourselves. Because at the apex of our ability to express our anger, our anger by hurting someone, we built devices that can, uh, uh, nuclear weapons now, that can destroy or kill hundreds of thousands of people in a nanosecond. So we have to logically think about things that are problems for us. Special souls, miraculous souls. Think about the problem that if you're angry and you're in a problem situation of anger, the first thing you do, sit down. If you're still angry after that, then lay down. And if that is still riding you like that, then uh, make them do and make yourself a couple of cups. Have you ever, ever have you ever offered that that uh, that that miraculous solution to the problem of anger? Have you ever offered that? Oh, I ain't gonna bag them. No, you you don't know who you messing with. Is that you talking? You don't know who you talking to. Is that you talking? Or is that someone talking for you? There's something inside you forcing those words out of your mouth. Do you know who you're talking to? You don't even know who's talking. Shaitan has the, uh, uh, has the uh, ability to influence us to make us do those things, whether it's uh, hitting someone uh, un uh, uh, un uh, unlawfully, or pressing a button and killing a hundred thousand uh, 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 or a million people uh, out of anger. Think about what you're involved in because you are special before Allah and you have a job to do. Allah says he found you looking in, in contemplation, thinking about yourself, thinking about who you are and where you're trying to get to. He found you and on the brink of the pit of the hellfire, as Allah will say, God says. Because our thinking, our emotions, our rationale, our mis uh, 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 not being able to rationale uh, to, to reason in the best way would have led us right to the hellfire. Any witnesses? Anybody remember where you came from? <coughs> remember how bad it was for you? And how you were on the brink of really hurting somebody? Or doing something that's going to put you in prison for the rest of your life? Remember how Allah saved you? Remember how Allah brought and God showed you Salah al Mustafim, showed you that straight path? That same straight path that Imam Ahmed in his Muslim, uh, Imam Ahmed uh, writes a narration. He says, Allah has set an example as a, of, of, a, of the Sirat, of a straight path. Allah has set an example of a Sirat, the, 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 the straight path. That, and it, it is surrounded by walls on both sides, with several doors within the walls along the way, several doors 
within the wall, and these doors are covered by curtains. There is a caller at the gate of the Sarat, at the beginning of the Sarat, there is a caller saying, O mankind, O people, stay on this Sarat and don't deviate from it. Don't leave this straight path. There's also another caller on the, uh, uh, on the Sarat, and, uh, and it's calling from above. And it's saying about those doors on the side, it says, O oh, humans, O oh, human beings, these doors, do not open them. Because if you open them, you will surely go inside them. Allah sets an example of the Sirach, of the Sirach of the King, of that pad that we've been placed on from the miracle of our creation on the plane of Arafat, the creation of our souls on the plane of Arafat, the miracle of we receiving the word, the command, Ikara, as it was told to the prophet, peace be upon him, every time we re repeat that uh, verse in the Quran, we're only replicating what the, the miracle of the prophet, peace be upon him, presenting that information, that direction to, to uh, sir, Jibreel, presenting that information to the prophet, peace be upon him. We're replicating that miracle. And finally, the miracle is to realize that Allah knows how special you are and your needs, so much so that when you're contemplating, when you're thinking about who am I and who am I, trying, who am I getting to, where am I going? Am I getting there? Am I making any progress? Now, I may cite this example. That was a straight path. Walls on both sides. On the path. You can't get off that, off that path unless you, there's some opening in the, in, in the walls. And it's so be it that on the, along the way there are doors on the wall. And the doors are covered by curtains. And there is a cause at the beginning of the straight path, telling you, remind us, stay on that straight path. There's a caller from above the path saying also about those doors, all human beings. As far as concerning these doors, don't open them. Because if you open it, surely you will go inside. أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأنا أشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وسلم. And an explanation of the uh, of the uh, narration from the prophet peace be upon him. Imam Ahmed points out says that the straight path spoken of in this in this, in this example the straight path is Islam. The two walls are laws set limits. While the doors resemble what Allah was and God had prohibited. The caller at the gate of the Sarat is the book of Allah. While the caller overhead is the admonition that Allah was and God has placed in the heart of every human being, of every human being, of every human being, that little voice. Everyone's talking about it. You're about to do wrong. Thinking about doing wrong. And it says, well, you know what it says. It says, don't do that. That's not right. It, don't even it, 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 and, if you, and if you've really been practicing, uh, uh, listening to your inward self. When the law says, for example, the law says about fornication, don't even zina and other things, don't even come close to it. Don't even touch it. Look at it. Don't even come close to it. The voice, the call of our love, is that reminder that our God has placed in us. You hear? Let's do the right be cool. Am I not your Lord? It's still saying, yes, Lord, oh, what? you are my Lord, you are my creator. Ikara, you hear the prophet, peace be upon him, receiving that first command from the creator to his creation, the final warning being taken take place after the Ikra comes the rest of the Quran and the rest of the admonition, the last reminder for mankind before the day of judgment. And a compilation of this madness that you see brewing out here now. How things are so much out of hand and out of out of out of out of out of, uh, out of, out of control now. 
Change is taking place so rapidly. I'm, I'm afraid. I know I'm leaving, I'm leaving this earth soon, inshallah. But I'm afraid for, especially for our young men. Living in a world where your identity as a male is, is, is questioned. They want you, young men, to think that you are a woman or something like a woman. And to justify it by their laws. And, and you might not think it's, you might think, okay, they ain't gonna never get me. But see, when you throw that wicked thought in combination with intoxicants that lessen your resistance. Yeah, yeah, y'all, y'all, y'all ex -thugs. You know, what was the, what was the, one of the main keys, one of the main uh, uh, agents needed to do the crime? Get, gotta get drunk first. Get high first or something. Shut that voice up. Let's to be right because am I not your Lord? But that, yes, of course, oh Lord, you are that, you are my creator, you are my creator. That was a method, you gotta go, you gotta do something first. To, to quieten that voice, make that voice shut up. Then you can do the act, it's easier to do the act. You think you might not be touched? Oh yeah, with the combination of the wicked nature of the of the of the of the, of the command from them, touching something as as, as as strong as an impulse as strong as sex, and then you're drinking and smoking, etc. And you think you got control of yourself? In reality, you are being controlled. And you think you can walk away? You can walk away and not think that like, oh, you know I keep looking stuff look a little bit little bit good there. Well, that old jewel is fitting him. Or the same thing with the sisters. You see, the madness is already in place. The changes are already taking place. But the Lord God said, God has sent a remedy, a relief, a response to that madness. It is you. It is you, blessed special people that the Lord God said, God has prepared from the beginning of time for you to be inserted into society at this time inserted into society so that you may go out and ikra, re 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 rehearse, repeat, recite, practice the things that our prophet, peace be upon him, told us to do in terms of spreading the word of the Lord God, Son, and God, living it ourselves first so that we're strong, strengthened in that, and then to take that same information out to the world. Thank a lot, brothers and sisters. Yeah. Source of all miracles. And the reality that you are special. You are a miracle sitting right here. Don't, put, don't you forget that. Don't let anyone take that from you. It doesn't matter what color you are, what, what race you are, what, what, what gender you are. You are a miracle before Allah, the Lord, and God. And you are powerful. Shaitan wants to take that power of yours, not take it from you, but misdirect it. You hear yourself inside, you hear your voice. If you don't hear it, increase your remembrance of Allah. Turn down the music for a while. Did I tell you, don't listen to no music and drama? No, you work that out for yourself. But turn it down for a while and turn up Allah's words. Understand that a little more. Understand your prayer, the thing that is so important to you that the first thing we're going to be asked about when taken from the grave on the day of judgment, the first thing we're going to be asked about is that prayer. That's our protective shield. That's our that, that's our protection. The more you pray, the stronger you get. I am amazed. I am amazed at how many young brothers don't even know the prayer. I'm amazed at how many young brothers are only just parroting, just reciting what someone told them to recite without any understanding of it. You got a powerful right hand and you got a powerful right punch. If you don't know how to use it, what good is it? May Allah go and God make us to be among those who realize who we are. We are servants of the source of, we are the source of all power, and, uh, we are the servants of the source of all power. We are special before him. Allah, brothers and God, says that 
He is the protecting friend of those who believe. He leads them from the different paths of darkness into the single light, the Islam, the Sirat al Mustaqim, that straight path. And even warns us about the path. The path that's surrounded by two, by wall, two walls, along the way you'll find doors. And those doors are covered with curtains. They are warned us at the beginning of the Sirat saying, Oh, human beings, stay on the straight path. Whatever, at whatever stage you became Muslim, you accepted Islam. That caller started calling you then. Stay on this page. The caller from above saying about those doors, these doors represent the forbidden things about Lord God. The, the, the warning from above says, oh, human beings, concerning these doors, don't open them. Because if you open it, surely you will go inside. ربنا لا تؤاخذنا إن نسينا أوطانا ربنا ولا تحن علينا إسرائيل كما هماته على الذين من قبلنا ربنا ولا تهمنا ما تعطف لنا دي وقوانا وغفرنا وحمنا أنت قلنا ونسنا على الكتاب الكريم Brothers and sisters, uh, I have mentioned to you all a year and a half, almost two years now, that I was not tired, but I will not be giving cook while here uh, because I wanted to see more of you young men taking the responsibility of giving the cook bus. However, I have a friend who is your imam, and your imam asked me to do him a favor. And that was to give the cook bus today. And your friends are the ones that will put aside whatever they have to put aside, if it's lawful, to help a friend out, then that's why you see me here today. I'm so glad to see your all faces. May Allah bless you, God. Continue to bless you. And remember, the fight is already started. Please, young men, prepare yourself for leadership inside your home as well as out. Sisters, prepare yourselves for leadership inside your home and out. And Jamaat, prepare yourself for the time when we have to go out and take up guns and bombs and things beyond bullets and guns, bullets and bombs, and go out and fight an enemy Fight that's going to be so intense that the prophet says that Jesus, everybody come out, uh, everybody come out, you know, I can't wait for Jesus to come. But he's coming back and he's going to be on our side. And he's going to be fight with his, the intensity and the ferocity that was seen before. Killing the non-Muslims, male, female, young, old, whoever's on the other side of this war of belief, it will be destroyed. Jesus, peace and blessings be upon him, be, be upon him and his forces. We'll fight and kill the jail in, 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 in a place near, 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 near Jerusalem. And, that, and at that point, there'll be peace on earth for a period of time until the love of the God that shuts down this planet, rolls it up, opens it up, and there we stand. Unless to be right, be cool. And then at your Lord, incorrupt, recite, repeat, rehearse. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.